Welcome to Code Spotify. Today we are going to integrate MongoDB and MySQL with PrestoDB. MongoDB and MySQL are the external database that we are going to connect with the PrestoDB. Then we use the PrestoDB CLI to manipulate the SQL query to retrieve the data from both Mongo and MySQL. So these are the prerequisites. So you can find a number of tutorials regarding these topics, but I am going to say things in short. Docker is the container that used to maintain a number of software packages in a one single Docker image. Docker Compose is a package that used to run a number of Docker images from one single YAML file. It means you can have a one single YAML file to maintain a number of Docker images. Maybe I can show during the demo. MongoDB. So it's a NoSQL database that used to maintain the data in the form of JSON format. MySQL, of course, is RDBMS, then Data Lake House. So basically, this topic comes under the big data environment. Here, we can maintain the semi structured, unstructured, and structured data. So, I'm going to cover the demo for all, the, all, all of these. But the thing is, like, everything is tested in the version uh, 20.x and uh, for the Docker Compose 1.29.x. Okay, so today we are going to cover these other topics. So means like this is the agenda here. So the thing is like, uh, so initially we'll integrate a PrestoDB, MongoDB and MySQL. Then we create table in both MongoDB and MySQL. Then we query the data from PrestoDB that used to retrieve the data from MongoDB and MySQL. And most importantly, we are going to create a giant query to join the database between MySQL and MongoDB and that query can be manipulated from the PrestoDB. Let's go to demo. Okay, so here I have a one single Docker Compose file which is maintaining multiple uh, Docker images here. So in our case we have uh, three Docker images, one is like PrestoDB and other one is a MongoDB and MySQL. So here the most important thing is like property file. It means like if you wanted to establish a connection, database connection, of course you need a connection stream. It means like you need a uh, respective property files to establish a connection. So thing is, uh, let's see the MongoDB properties. Here this is a, a property file. Here you can see there is a connector name and the next one is a uh, MongoDB seed. It means like a connection stream. So the case is like uh, MongoDB, it's a custom name, can give anything. Basically, this is the identifier. We can call this as a catalog. I will tell you where exactly uh, this will be displayed. So here the Presto iPhone Mongo is a container name. Okay, so in our Docker images, this is a container name for MongoDB. And similarly, uh, for MySQL, Presto iPhone MySQL is a container name. So you can find a similar kind of connection string in the MySQL property file as well. So here the connector name, then uh, of course the uh, container name, the default port, then username and password. All right. So here uh, we are maintaining everything in the Docker. So since it's a Docker thing, we have to create a separate private network. Okay, for that the network name is Presto iPhone NW. So it means like network. NW is a network here. So uh, you can find the reference in each and every Docker image. It indicates that we are going to have a one single network that calls a private network and they will be having an individual gateway. So they will communicate each other in between them. Okay. And I have created a volume uh, which is called the Mongo data. So I'm using this to map the data from MongoDB. Okay. Let's run this Docker image. Okay. So here I have two Docker files, so I'm going to run the second Docker file. Alright, so, so if you don't have a Docker image in your local, so it will pull the Docker image from the scratch. So since I have already pulled all the Docker images, so it's just starting from the existing pulled Docker image. So you can see the server started already.
okay so here I have a two minute archive images let's filter it out okay so these are three docker containers um, so just uh, 39 seconds ago I mean like around 40 seconds uh, 40 seconds ago we ran it um, so the first one is a trusted DB the second one post track from Mongo is the Mongo DB and post track on MySQL is a MySQL DB okay you can see the port numbers which is expose outside for MySQL and uh, Mongo DB so now we know that we ran all these necessary docker image so how we will identify all these uh, docker images are interlinked in the one single network because if it is not in the one single network we cannot establish the connection okay so we have to set the docker network docker i'm oh, sorry i am going to inspect the uh, docker network so our network name is prostroy from nw okay cool so here you can see there are three containers okay and for this the default gateway okay you can if you wanted to check your respective gateway okay so here you can see for docker here is the gateway uh, this is the default gateway start from so 172.17 so if you are creating a number of networks everything will be having this set of class so here also we have I have the set of class so let me okay let me check whether it is connected so in our case so this is a uh, IP address for the container called MySQL so telnet what is the default port okay let me open one more session okay so the port is double three zero six Yes, it's connected. The next, uh, the next port is two seven zero one seven. Okay. So, so dot zero I mean dot three is basically the uh, I mean the host name for the respective post drive from uh, Monco. So I'm going to communicate with this respective host. I mean container. Okay, yeah, both are connected. So now I can see. So both are connected. I mean like uh, both MySQL and uh, uh, MongoDB is connected over here. All right. So now I'm going to open my get a Docker in. I mean like a get up okay here you can see there are a number of instructions here so uh, I will add this uh, URL I mean like github URL in the description you can drop it from it but the case is here I already written uh, all the instructions here so first thing is I am going to open the cluster CLI okay so let's name it Otherwise, it will be confusing. Okay, I'm going to run Prosto CLI here. Okay. Okay, so the next one is MongoDB. Okay, so now the Mongo shell also connected. Let's name it as MongoDB. So you can see now uh, Presto CLI and MongoDB is connected. So I'm going to open one more instance. Let's run MySQL. Okay. So let's check what's the password we have mentioned in the property file. So Presto. So 
just copy paste it okay so now uh, okay before that let me rename yes okay. all right so now we can see i have a uh, three terminal sessions like a presto cli mongodb and mysql okay let's uh, run one by one so i'm going to show catalog first okay so you can see uh, the mongodb and mysql okay so this is a catalog name you can find this catalog name in the property file this one similarly for mysql you can see this one okay so i'm going to show the uh, default schema okay it's a plural okay so this is a default schema from mongodb similarly i'm going to show the schema from okay my sql now okay so this is a default schema from my sql so now i'm going to create a table uh, okay in mongodb perspective we call everything as a collection so i'm going to create a collection in mongodb all right so refer my github readme file so just create just follow all these instructions okay i'm going to create a collection called book So I wanted to add two collection I mean like two records in the collection. Okay, db dot collection name dot font. Alright, so you can see there are two uh, collections are added. I mean two records are added. Okay, let's go to plus show db. Okay, so we have seen what are the default schemas already. So these are the default schemas from mongodb let's run the same command again oh see uh, so this is a new uh, new database we have created plus show to mongodb so this is a new database just now we have created you can able to find it out over plus show cli okay so let me do the same thing for the mysql as well Okay, let's create a database. Show me what are the databases are there. Okay, so the database created now. So I'm going to use the database. Okay, I change your database. Uh, just check the tables because it's a new database. You cannot find any tables there. And now I'm going to create a new table called author. And I'm going to insert two records. Okay, so now show tables. We have author table. Just select that table. Mm, author. Okay, so you should keep in mind right now we are working in MySQL database. Okay, so I have a two records in the table name called author. Okay, the author is Rollins and the other one is Holy Black. Okay, but when you go to MongoDB, okay, so this is a book. I have a two books. One one is Harry Potter and the other one is a book ticking. Okay, so let me go to Presto CLI. Okay, so I already seen the uh, collection details from MongoDB. Let me show you the SQL table uh, from my SQL. Okay. Okay. So we supposed to follow the similar kind of instructions here. Show MongoDB. Okay. Yeah. From my MySQL. Okay. You can see. Uh, you can find it out the database here. Press to to MySQL. So just now we have created. So it's reflecting now. Okay. So now I'm I'm going to select the table from MongoDB or MySQL from Presto CLI. Let's start with MongoDB now. Okay. Okay. Let's go to MongoDB. Okay. So now I'm in, I'm into MongoDB. Okay. 
so let me okay so under mongodb book was the uh, table right it means like you can see uh, mongodb is the catalog okay you can call schema or catalog and then under that the database is presto to mongodb okay so i entered into it okay you can find it over here okay now i am going to uh, select the table i mean select the collection okay so the case is like here the presto db can understand only sql query okay so even though you have created mongodb collection with their own query but the presto db can understand only their own mysql query okay let's select this you can see these are the two records existing in the mongodb see harry potter and wit wit ticket let's go back to presto cli now i am going to select the table from mysql okay okay here we can find the schema what's wrong oh yeah it's just gone okay so now uh, okay previously it was mongodb okay it mean like i was into uh, mongodb database so now i'm into mysql database okay now i want to show tables okay so there's author table so i'm going to select the uh, respective table let's see okay so here uh, the author name is rolling and uh, holly black so these are the two records we have created in the mysql and uh, these are the two records which we create in the mongodb okay so now we can able to do the query from both mysql and mongodb okay now the important thing is like we are going to create a giant query between mysql and mongodb okay so I already have the query in the github okay so here you can see here like, okay oh, hope you might be knowing uh, the uh, the actual syntax for the uh, join query so i'm going to join two different databases here so first one is like mysql see this is a catalog name within the mysql this is a database name and this is a table name okay and uh, I'm going to join this with the MongoDB. So this is a catalog name. Then this is a database from MongoDB, and this is a collection name. Okay. So I have alias A and B. Okay. A for MySQL and B for MongoDB. Now the unique identity identity. You mean like the primary key is ID. So this is a uh, ID. I mean primary to foreign key relationship is from ID. So we are going to use that to filter okay so let's filter it out okay you can see here after the selection so the first one is from uh, yeah, this, the author is from mysql and the books are from uh, mongodb so now we join both tables and finally we can find out the uh, expected table which can be queried from the presto db okay that's all for today guys thank you please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos